city right? that we're currently in right now <laughs> uh, is doing that. You know, they, there's really hardly any place to sit down at that Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And you know, usually I, it's one of those things where I feel like the, the seating is getting less and less. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that guy. You're, it seems like we're getting less of everything these days and now less seating, but you know, if you're going to charge that much for coffee and for <laughs> all the other items, uh, you know, Starbucks, you know, we love it, but it is pricey. So mm -hmm. the least they could do is offer a seat for your customers. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I mean, I do like eating in my car because no one bothers me in there. I agree. But I also want to be able to choose to eat in my car. If I right. want to eat inside, I want to be able to eat inside. Plus, right. they're always asking you for a tip, too. So, yeah. I don't know. And I remember, you know, as reporters, we're always looking for that place like, oh my God, I got to sit down somewhere and write my story. And yeah. sometimes we're on the rush and you always think, oh, a coffee shop. But now that that option might be missing, yeah. who knows? And uh, then there's Wi-Fi. So yeah. how do you... Yeah, how, how do you use it? And then the Wi-Fi is not too reliable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on, so, Starbucks. Yeah. You know. But I'm sure that they're not going to be losing a, a whole lot of customers right. due to that. But you know. a whole lot of bucks. <laughs> yeah, just a little uncomfortable. But, but hey, what do you what do you do? Just mm -hmm. gotta go on and live with it. True. Like with this heat and humidity. Right. Might want to have that coffee iced for the next <laughs> few days here across the valley. But I do know that that Starbucks in Port Isabel is actually quite fantastic. That's mine, Chris. That's